You have to understand, these companies don't give a single f about your health. So let me give you the straight up actionable steps right now. Just buzz it off. Note that you must have a shower filter installed. Any YouTuber who wants to talk about hair care without talking about diet doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. Vitamin D supplements are mostly trash. When I was in my early 20s, my hair was oily and gross and my scalp was dry and flaky, which makes no sense until you look at what shampoo is actually made of and how it works from a chemical perspective. And then you see what Procter & Gamble actually engineered. You see, shampoo is one fat psyop. It's a multi-million dollar industry which gives you the problem in the first place and then sells you the cure. You believe that shampooing your hair every day or every other day is normal and healthy because that's what your parents did and that's what all the advertising says. This is complete BS. I want you to understand what hair really is. Actually look at it from an evolutionary perspective. So look at the human body. We barely have any hair on our body compared to most animals. But on our head, our hair grows indefinitely. That's because our head hair and in men, facial hair is an indicator of health. So if you're having hair problems, whether it's hair loss or dry scalp, etc., you don't solve this by buying the next latest and greatest product. You have to look a little bit deeper. Because hair quality and quantity is an indicator of health, it's a signal for attractiveness and mate choice, which is the fancy biological way of saying good hair makes you attractive to women and of course other way also we find women extremely attractive when they have good healthy hair the science and my instincts are in perfect alignment if you ever run your fingers through a woman's hair and it's full and it's healthy and it smells nice that's insanely attractive not because the hair itself is healthy but because hair is an indication of overall health and fertility. And of course in men, a nice full beard is an indicator of sexual health and extreme virility. I wish I could grow out my beard, but of course the army regulations prevent it. If you have a dog or a cat, and you've noticed that its fur is kind of patchy or if it's shedding way more than normal. You don't try 10 different shampoos on it. You realize that the pet is stressed or sick or there's something else wrong with it and these changes in its fur are just an indication. We don't assume its hair fall is because of genetics and you don't start using finasteride. That is the angle which I'm going to take. I'm going to teach you everything I know. Most people don't know this, but shampooing every day is a modern invention. Procter & Gamble had a massive, massive advertising campaign in the 1970s, specifically targeting white American women, probably one of the most impressionable demographics on the planet, and they fed upon their insecurities and made them feel as though their hair was gross and they would lose their standing in the dating market if they didn't use Procter & Gamble's greatest products. Good looking girl, until you looked close. Dandruff. You have to understand, these companies don't give a single fuck about your health. So looking at the statistics, Americans wash their hair five times a week. The Spanish and Italians wash their hair half of that. And I was just there, I was in Spain and Italy just a few days ago and they have perfectly beautiful hair. And if you've ever seen a shampoo advertisement, you know how they have that graphic going on? They show like a zoom up 3D render of a hair follicle and they have the shampoo like coming in and removing all the impurities. That's complete BS. What's really happening is the shampoo binds to and removes fats from your scalp and that causes your scalp to overproduce those oils which causes your hair to be greasy and then you need more shampoo to fix the problem. And then they sell you a conditioner to coat your hair in silicone to make it look as though your hair is actually nourished when it's actually not. So how did I realize that shampoo and conditioner was BS? Well actually I did a hard reset on my life, a hard reset. So I was feeling very stalled in life, it's about a couple of years ago. And of course, there was a woman involved who is no longer in my life. I needed to gain massive momentum. So I developed a hard reset protocol and I followed it for a month. And it worked amazingly. But for this video, the important part was one part of that protocol was to buzz my hair off completely. And I did. And because I didn't have a shampoo or conditioner, you know, you don't need shampoo or conditioner when you have buzzed hair. I didn't use it. And by the way, if you want to know more about the hard reset protocol, let me know in the comments. I know my technique works because usually when I go to the barber and I get a haircut, my hair would fall along with a whole bunch of flakes. It was super gross and I hated it. But once I got off shampoo and conditioner after I buzzed my hair and used the natural means to take care of my hair, and then I got my first haircut after the buzz, there was no flakes at all. So I asked my barber how my scalp looked. And it's interesting because he says something along the lines of, okay, it looks like your shampoo's working. I was like, yeah, no, it doesn't. So note this, like if you have rings in your hair, like rings of flakes in your hair, or your scalp rather, then that's not dandruff and that's not dry skin. That's some kind of an infection and you need to see an actual dermatologist. And a quick thing about hair loss. So a lot of people think that hair loss, especially in men, is caused by testosterone. This is not true. Just having high testosterone doesn't mean you're gonna lose your hair. That's not a thing. It's more complex than that. And an interesting thing is, 
It's actually stress which causes it and not in the way that you think. So stress causes skin to be pulled taut over your scalp. So if you've ever seen a bald person, like a person who has lost their hair, you know how their like, scalp is super shiny, right? That's because the skin is pulled tight over their scalp, usually because of tightnesses in their jaw caused by stress. So if you're losing your hair, it could be because of stress. What you need to do is you need to give yourself deep massages on your scalp and you're not gonna use your nails. You're gonna use like the, the pads of your fingers. You're gonna put coconut oil or olive oil and like really properly massage your scalp and you're going in an upward motion to kind of um, to give more slack basically improve your skin quality along your scalp so that you don't start losing follicles so let me give you the straight up actionable steps right now so if your hair and scalp are in a bad condition right now like really trash if your hair is super oily or super dry if your scalp is super oily or super dry and if you're a young man just buzz it off just take a trimmer or go to your barber and buzz the whole thing off. You have nothing to lose. And then you can start fixing your body, fixing your health, fixing your scalp, etc. And when your hair grows anew, it's going to be the best hair you've had. And if you don't want to do that, that's fine. Still follow the rest of the protocol. So you're going to quit shampoo and conditioner cold turkey, right? Just stop using it. Hey boys, so I'm in the field for a couple of days, uh, but I had to make this quick video. So my editor, Jack, he brought up an interesting point, which is once you stop using shampoo, what happens is your hair doesn't magically get better. It actually gets worse. It gets worse for the first two or three weeks, maybe even four weeks before actually improving. So be aware of that. So the way it works is, you know, your boy needs sometimes to reset from the cycle that the shampoo has created. Oh yeah, so a quick tip. If you're out in the field, like you're gonna be using a lot of energy and you're gonna be outdoors, honey, highly energy dense, highly nutrition dense. Uh, I literally had honey for breakfast. It works. You can absolutely and you should use just water to wash your hair. So you can actually do this even every day if you wanted to. To move the water around your scalp and give yourself a scalp massage as you're getting water on your scalp without using shampoo or conditioner. And that's going to remove the dust and pollen and pollutants while not removing the oils which are actually required for nourishing your hair. But note that you must have a shower filter installed. This is a non-negotiable. Unless you know for a fact that your water quality is super high, I guarantee you if you live in any major city, your water quality is trash, it's full of hormones, it's full of chlorine, which is gonna be very damaging for your scalp. And you definitely need to install a shower filter in order to filter it out. I'll link in the description to the one which I use. So you're free to use water to rinse off any number of times a week. And probably once a week or maybe twice a week if you live in a very congested and polluted city, you'll want to use a non-toxic shampoo or what I use is actually a olive soap. So this thing is a olive soap. So it's made of olive oil basically and it does the job of removing the pollen and pollutants and everything, but it doesn't strip away the oils. But even then, I just use it once a week, and I'll link to the description. I even have a discount code for this, actually. I got the discount code way back during my skincare video, and the same company which makes the skincare products, which is like Tallow Balm, which I use, makes the soap. So, very trustable company. I know the guy who owns it. If you live in the US, this is a good option. If you don't live in the US, find any small business in your country which makes similar products. That's the good thing about living in 2023, is that we are starting to see the glimmer of hope, you know? You're starting to see companies which are started just by normal people like you and me, who are simply sick and tired of the mega corporations creating toxic products which actually cause the problem which they purport to solve, and instead start small businesses which produce genuine good products. I'm telling you, if you're an entrepreneur or you wanna start a small business, this is the time, this is the perfect time. You see, this is the gold rush, you know? People are starting to realize that the mainstream products are trash and they're starting to adopt non-traditional products. If you start your company right now and if you're selling anything, like literally soap, shampoo, sunscreen, so many products that we use day to day are toxic. So if you are the guy to make a non-toxic version which is still effective and completely safe, your business is gonna grow massively, exponentially in the next 10 years. So basically, let me quickly summarize. The way you wash your hair, is you use just water every day or every other day, it doesn't matter. And then every once a week, you use a non-toxic shampoo they, that does exist. There are non-toxic shampoos out there. Or you use an olive soap like how I do. And I'll link in the description to the products which I use or I, I approve of. And after washing your hair, you're still gonna lose some of the oils. So here's what you can do. This depends on your specific needs. I personally use a single drop of olive oil. I'll spread it along my palms and then I'll just run it through my hair. You can also use coconut oil, but the problem with coconut oil is if you live in a cold climate, the coconut oil is gonna solidify and it's gonna be gross. So olive oil is the way to go for me. And for some of you, you may not need any oil because your scalp already produces enough. So you have to kind of experiment and find out what works for you. After you run oil through your hair, you use a wooden, 
comb. You have to use wood. You cannot use your plastic combs because otherwise you leach microplastics into your scalp. So you're gonna use a wooden comb. It has these wooden br bristles and you'll run it through your hair. And this is gonna kind of stimulate the follicles. It's gonna increase blood flow on your scalp. Very good if you're having hair loss. This is a must. And last thing, don't use hot water. Use lukewarm or body temperature water. And of course, we've got to talk about dandruff. So most people don't have dandruff. Most people have freaking dry scalp, which looks like dandruff, but it's not the same thing. If you have genuinely, you have dandruff, then yeah, you might need to see a medical professional. But most people have dry scalp, which is caused by shampoo, like I said before. So do what I said, and you'll, most people will solve their problems because most people don't have dandruff. But if you still have problems, you know, after a month of following this protocol, then yeah, perhaps you do have actual skin condition called dandruff and you can actually go to a dermatologist. Any YouTuber who wants to talk about hair care without talking about diet doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. Like in the start of the video, I said that hair is an indicator of health. So if you're genuinely unhealthy, even if you follow this protocol, even if you buy the most expensive products, you are not gonna have good hair. Good hair starts from genuine good health. And I mean hormonal health, I mean physical health. I also mean mental health. Like I said before, stress has an effect on hair loss. So for diet, I'm gonna make it super simple for you. This is not a, a diet video as such, but I have to point it out, otherwise this video makes no sense. So first thing, eat animal protein. Eggs, red meat, white meat, fish. So long as it's well sourced, I'm talking about grass fed, grass finished. I'm talking about local farms. Buy high quality meat, high quality eggs, and your hair is gonna improve even if you continue to use shit shampoo. Next thing is omega fatty acids, right? So omega 3s and omega 6s. The problem with this is because most of our water is polluted, most fish have microplastics in them, which means most cod liver oil has microplastics. And on top of that, omega 3s and omega 6s are polyunsaturated fatty acids, which means they're unstable. And because they're unstable, if you don't know, if the company doesn't know how to store them properly or doesn't care enough to store them properly, you're actually gonna be doing more harm by consuming these supplements than not. So most drugstore or, you know, CVS brand, omega 3 supplements, cod liver oil supplements, they are thrash. The only one which I actually trust, it's a very interesting product. It's a blend of cod liver oil and butter oil. It's made by this company called Green Pasture. And I trust them because they work with vintage tradition and I know that vintage tradition is good. So I'll link to that company in the description. Next thing, vitamin D supplements are mostly trash. Sunlight is the absolute king. And actually, you may not know this, but vitamin D is not exactly a vitamin. It's more like a hormone than a vitamin. So looking at it from that perspective, your skin is the largest endocrine organ in your body. So make sure you get your sunlight, get sun exposure on as much skin as possible, even on cloudy days. This is what I'm talking about. This is gonna improve your genuine health, like literally genuinely, you're gonna be a more healthy person and that's gonna result in better hair. And then hydration. Hydration is key because it brings the nutrients to the scalp in the first place. And hydration is not simply drinking a lot of water. There's a whole science behind the electrolytes and the balances, etc in order to be hydrated. So watch my hydration guide to get properly hydrated. And then of course sleep. Sleep is an absolute must. Sleep also genuinely improves your health, which causes your hair to be better. And to optimize your sleep, I have a whole sleep optimization video. So that's the one you need to watch. And also a few other things which I should note. If you want to style your hair, you can absolutely use a good pomade. The one which I use is this really cheap one. Actually, it's pretty cheap and the ingredients are top quality. It's a Seattle pomade company. Pomade? Pomade? I'm not really sure. And this one's on Amazon, so it's pretty easy to get. I'll link it in the, in the description. So you see how government and corporations can use their knowledge of biology and psychology to poison you, to poison you mentally, physically, and spiritually. I seek to give you the very knowledge which they use to make sure that the battlefield is even. I would like you to hit the share button. And if you want to share this video to somebody, great. But even if you don't want to do that, just hit the share button. That's gonna give this video the momentum it needs to promote our way of thinking. If you really wanna get involved, my private society, the country club will be opening its gates in August.